In this video, we're going to have a look at how to use the Next Styles option in Adobe InDesign. We're going to look at what it does, how you can use it, and how it can really speed up your workflow. There's an often overlooked feature in the Paragraph Styles panel in InDesign that, once you've learned what you can do with it, will leave you wondering how you ever managed to use the program without it. The Next Style option is easy to miss, despite being one of the first options you encounter when setting up a style sheet. It's right after the Based On option. Uh, it's easy to miss because there really isn't much that you need to do on that first section of the Options panel. You can name your style from any section, and so most people just skip over this first sort of page to get to the good stuff. Um, it's a mistake for a couple of reasons to do that. Firstly, you should definitely pay attention to what comes up in the Based On selector because whatever style is listed in here, if you make any changes to it, will also change the new style you're creating. This is a very useful feature, which is how it's intended to be, but it can also be a tremendous irritation and a time waster, depending on whether or not you're paying attention to what your settings are. The second reason you should pay attention to the initial screen, though, is because of the next style selector. So let's have a look at that. Mostly people disregard next style as only being useful if you're typing directly into InDesign. And who does that? If you're typing into a text frame with a particular paragraph style applied to your text and you hit enter for a new paragraph, the next style setting comes into play. If you have a different style to be applied, InDesign will automatically switch to that style and you can just keep on typing without interruption. But yeah, who uses InDesign like that? If you place a document, all of your text is already there. No typing involved. So the next style option is useless, right? Not so fast. Let's set up our three styles as such. In our heading style, we'll tell it to apply our initial style next. And in our initial style, we'll direct it to follow with our main body style. For body, we'll set it just to repeat itself for any subsequent paragraphs. So what we have now is a useful sequence of styles that will allow us to enter a heading and then keep on typing and have all of our text properly formatted. But how is this useful when working with supplied text? Fun fact, you can right click on styles within InDesign and get a whole array of different options for applying them that you won't find anywhere else in the program. So how does it work? Well, this is how you can use the next style sequence in your style sheets to very quickly format a document if you're using supplied text. You highlight all of the text you want to apply your styles to, from the first style you need all the way through to the next interruption in your sequence. Then you right click on the first style in the sequence and choose the Apply option from the pop-up menu. This will apply the first style in the first paragraph of text it finds, then the next style after that to the next paragraph, and so on. So in our example, in our header initial body sequence, it'll style the first paragraph as a heading, the second paragraph will be our indent free paragraph, and then it will apply the body style to all of the remaining paragraphs that we have selected, because the body style just repeats on itself. If you've placed your text and made sure that any inline formatting you need, such as bolds and italics, have been properly converted into character styles, then you can use the apply next and remove overrides option when applying your style sequence to clean out any leftover formatting at the same time as you apply your new formatting. Um, I have another video which goes over the process of importing and cleaning up text from supplied Word documents. I'll leave a link to that in the description box if you want to have a look at that. Uh, there's a lot of flexibility in the Next Styles option. It's certainly worth experimenting with and learning, because once you've kind of got it figured out, it can save you a lot of time. <laughs> 